What is going on YouTube? If you're new to the channel, my name's Evan and I'm an online reseller. It means I go to places like garage sales and thrift stores to find stuff to sell online for a profit. And on Tuesdays, I bring you the top items that I sold this past week. Items that you can be on the lookout for yourself when you're out hitting up those thrift stores and garage sales. Honestly, it was kind of a slow week for me, but that doesn't mean I didn't sell some pretty cool stuff. So let's take a look. So I gotta be honest, I never really knew that Lego Duplo blocks had any value. That's the bigger version of the Legos, but I picked up a tub full of them at Goodwill. And the only reason I bought them is because they had regular Legos on top along with a bunch of minifigures. I figured the minifigures themselves would be worth the $7 they were asking for. So I pulled those out, sold those, and then I was left with a bunch of Duplo blocks. And honestly, I didn't really know what to do. So I started doing some research on eBay and sure enough, they actually sell in lots pretty well. So I pulled out a hundred, took pictures of them, Pulled out another hundred, took pictures of them, ended up with like five different lots of a hundred. I've been selling one or two a month, and this is my last bag full of Duplo. Once again, I paid $7 for the whole box, and this bag of a hundred sold for 34 free shipping. Not a huge profit, but when you add it all up, it's pretty good. I've heard other resellers talking about wrestling shoes and how good they are to flip and they're usually a quick flip and bring decent money well i've never actually found a pair until now picked these up when my wife and i were down in hilton head south carolina paid 6.99 at a goodwill it's a pair of asics kale c-a-e-l version 5.0 not real sure don't know anything about wrestling shoes but they're in good condition looked up comps had a really good sell through rate took about two or three weeks to sell but I paid $6.99 for them and they sold for $42.50. Sold this Velociraptor. It's actually made by a company called Papo or Papo. They make these little detailed creatures and fantasy animals and different things. And it can be worth picking up if you can get them cheap enough. This one did take a while to sell. It took about two or three months. But I only paid 50 cent for it at a little thrift store and it sold for $30. So yeah, it may have taken a while, but I think the profit margin is there for me to wait on it. This is the inside headliner or sweatband for a military helmet from World War II. And it took me a little while to actually figure that out. I started to just throw this thing away. But I bought a big lot of military stuff from a lady at a garage sale, and this was in there. Like I said, I didn't pay it much attention, almost threw it away. I've got basically nothing into it, and it sold for $45. So this may be my favorite sale this week because it's, it's kind of like found money. My wife was cleaning out my daughter's room and she found this doll. My daughter said she didn't want it anymore. And my wife told me I should look it up on eBay. I'm glad she did. It's a Love Bella doll. It, the mouth moves and it talks when you put the bottle in and everything. And they're kind of a bolo. I don't think they make them anymore and they're going for some pretty good money. Didn't pay anything for it. I think she actually got it for a birthday present. Played with it for a couple years and sold it for $54.50 on eBay. So I've always done real well with these new wave induction cooktops. They tend to sell real fast for me. Even when they're not in the box and they're lightly used, they can sell for some decent money. I paid $5 for this one from a garage sale and it is new in the box or new open box. And it sold for $79.99 in about three days. It is kind of an older model. There's like a version two now, which goes for a little bit more, but either way, still worth picking up. This is a sunshade assembly for a Honda Pilot. It's like a retractable sunshade. It was brand new in the box. It's an original Honda part. And if you ever see auto parts, it can't hurt to look them up. There's usually some kind of number. I mean, there's several numbers on here. 
type it into Google or eBay, and see what you get. This one turned out to be pretty good. I believe I paid $250 for this. It's been around a, a little thrift store so long it went to half price. Paid $250 for it and it sold for $82.50 on eBay. I love picking up these Sony combo units. They sell really fast. This is a Sony SLV D380P. It's just a regular combo unit. It's not a DVD recorder or anything, just a regular DVD player and VHS. They had it for $4 at Goodwill, so I figured it was worth a shot. No remote, but it worked great and it sold for $100 in less than 24 hours. Sold a putter. This is an Odyssey White Hot XG Two Ball Left Handed Putter, and it's in really clean condition. It does need a new grip, but the face is almost perfect. I've never seen one that clean before. Picked this up at a garage sale when I was down in Florida with my wife. Bought a big bag of golf clubs for ninety dollars. I sold some irons out of it for three twenty-five. I've deducted my cost out of that, so this is basically kind of free money. Sold for sixty-five dollars. Obviously, I've got to back out the fees and shipping. And speaking of shipping, if you don't know already. Starting in April, the Postal Service is going to charge a $15 handling fee for any item over 30 inches. And you guys have actually reached out to me asking what I'm going to do about golf clubs when that implements. Well, let me show you. So normally I would send this club in a USPS medium mailing tube, and they measure 5 by 7 by 38. The weight of the club in the box would be 1 pound 15 ounces. If I were to send that priority mail, it's $8.24. Now, when they add $15 to that, it's definitely going to hurt, but look at UPS ground. It's not that much more. $8.40. Was that $0.16 cent different? So obviously that $0.16 cent difference in the cost of the label is not that big of a deal, but it's going to fluctuate. Sometimes it'll be more, sometimes it'll be less. I've actually shipped signal clubs cheaper UPS than the Postal Service sometimes. The bigger expense to me is going to be the packaging. You're not going to be able to use those triangle mailing tubes that you get for free anymore, especially when you ship for UPS. You're going to have to have your own box. I actually use these 4x4x48 four four boxes. They cost me $1.60. And honestly, I like these better anyway. It's a whole lot faster to ship a club in this. You just open it up, slide the club in, and tape it up, and you're good to go. But $1.60 here, $0.16 cent on the label, that's $1.76 on this particular club. Definitely more expensive, but not as big as it could be. Still going to be profitable to sell golf clubs. Let's print this label out.